is chickweed, also known as Stellaria media, popping up in your garden? Well, lucky duck, there are so many chickweed benefits. If you've got this plucky weed in your life, then you've got a powerhouse of medicine and nutritious food. I'm gonna show you how to safely work with this important herb to get the most chickweed benefits. And I'm gonna show you how to make a chickweed salve. Hello and welcome to the Herbs with Rosalie podcast, a show exploring how herbs heal as medicine, as food, and through nature connection. I'm your host, Rosalie de la Forêt. I created this YouTube channel to share trusted herbal wisdom so that you can get the best results when relying on herbs for your health. I love offering up practical knowledge to help you dive deeper into the world of medicinal plants and seasonal living. Each episode of the Herbs with Rosalie podcast is shared on YouTube as well as your favorite podcast app. Transcripts and recipes for each episode can be found at herbswithrosaliepodcast.com or through the link in the video description. Also in the video description, you'll find other helpful resources. For example, to get my best herbal tips, as well as fun bonuses, be sure to sign up for my weekly herbal newsletter. Okay, grab your cup of tea and let's dive in. I absolutely adore chickweed. While some gardeners scorn its arrival in their garden, I do all that I can to give it a special place to grow. Chickweed is an easy plant to welcome into your life, but you want to make sure you're making the most of it. In this video, I'll answer important questions like whether to work with it fresh or dried, and I'll give my best tips for chickweed identification. Be sure to stick around to the end to get my recipe and free recipe card for chickweed salve. And while you're watching, let me know in the comments below about your experience with chickweed. It's always interesting and insightful to hear the experiences of plant lovers out there. And you never know, your suggestion may also help others. I'm not joking when I say I love chickweed. I recently returned from a trip to France and Ireland, and while most people return with photos of famous places or monuments, I lost count of how many chickweed photos I took, and I'll include some of those in this video. Okay, let's dive in. Chickweed is an opportunistic and nutrient-dense plant that offers soothing and cooling relief to many different symptoms of heat, dryness, and inflammation. Rather than simply memorizing chickweed benefits, it's especially helpful to understand this plant's energetic profile and how it relates as a heating or cooling or drying or moistening herb. My first book, Alchemy of Herbs, shows you exactly how to choose herbs that are best for you based on these herbal energetics. So if these concepts are new to you, check out that book to get a foundational understanding. Well, while chickweed is native to Europe, it has spread to many temperate parts of the world and is naturalized in North America. It loves cooler weather and is often one of the first plants to emerge in the spring. It disappears with the heat of the summer and in some climates returns in the cooler fall months. The way chickweed loves to grow is indicative of its use as medicine. Chickweed loves cool, moist weather and is often indicated whenever we want to bring cooling and moistening relief to hot and dry tissues. While there are many nuances to understanding chickweed as medicine, if you only applied it energetically, as in using it as a cooling and moistening plant, you'd be able to work with this little plant with lots of success. Chickweed is high in many nutrients, including calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, and vitamin C. This nutritious and ubiquitous plant is recommended as a delicious wild edible and can be especially beneficial for those in recovery from illness or other nutrient depletion. Herbalist Deb Sewell says, chickweed helps the body absorb nutrients better. It is a safe and nourishing herb for a person of any age to take over several months when weak, chronically tired from overwork and stress, traumatized, anemic, or recovering from a long-term illness or surgery. Chickweed is also high in saponins. When plants high in saponins are agitated in water, this visible soap-like foam appears. And this foaming ability is caused by the interaction of fat-soluble and water-soluble constituents. Saponins have a wide range of activity within the body. They can regulate blood sugar, they can support a healthy microbiome, and they can modulate inflammation. 
Herbalists have long used chickweed to address infections. In vitro studies have isolated various constituents within chickweed that have shown antiviral activities against HSV2 and hepatitis B. Your eyes naturally like to be both cool and moist. If you've got red, irritated, dry eyes, or you're dealing with something like styes or pink eye, then reach for the soothing relief of chickweed. I recommend mashing up the fresh plant and then applying the juicy pulp to the closed eye. After about 10 or 20 minutes, or when the poultice becomes warm, you wanna remove the poultice and then you can apply a fresh poultice. For best results, this can be repeated multiple times and over the course of several days. And here's an important tip. Only use one poultice per eye rather than switch poultice from eye to eye. Chickweed gently moves the lymph. Consider it when there are swollen lymph glands or when there's swelling and edema, indicating a stagnant interstitial fluid or lymphatic system. Chickweed is also famously used for benign cysts. It can be used topically and frequently for common types of cysts, including ganglion cysts. Some herbalists recommend it internally for people with ovarian cysts. Many different hot or inflamed skin conditions are a good match for chickweed. Redness, irritation, and itchiness can be soothed with a topical poultice of the fresh plant. Herbalists report using chickweed successfully for things like eczema, boils, and many insect bites or stings, such as those of mosquitoes and bees. Chickweed also calms angry red wounds, blisters or scrapes, and is even said to pull out splinters. I especially love chickweed salve for itchy conditions. More on how to make that in just a bit. So far, we've mainly discussed using chickweed topically for external signs of heat and irritation, but chickweed can also be used internally for the same types of symptoms. Dry and irritated lungs can result in spasmodic and unproductive coughs. In this case, the cough is actually a reaction to the irritated lung tissue. Chickweed can be used as food, as a tincture, as an oxymel, or a tea to restore moisture and bring cooling relief to the lungs. Chickweed is also a mild expectorant and can help move mucus that's stuck in the lungs. This could be explained by the reflexive effects of the saponins on the mucous membranes of the body. So if you have a dry, irritated cough and you've got lots of chickweed growing near you, then simply reach out for this effective remedy from nature. Chickweed is a mild diuretic that helps to relieve signs of heat in the urinary system, such as frequent and painful urination. While not generally used as a single solution for UTIs, or urinary tract infections. It can be combined with other herbs like uva ursi and yarrow to address the irritation of bacterial infections in the urinary tract. Used as a febrifuge, chickweed can calm an excited fever or when someone feels hot and irritated with a fever. It's not indicated when someone has a fever, but they also feel cold. Chickweed, with the botanical name Stellaria media, is a low-growing herbaceous plant that, in the right conditions, can form a thick mat along the ground. It really thrives in cool and moist conditions and grows readily in disturbed soil. It has small white flowers that look like they have 10 petals, but these are actually five sepals and five petals that are deeply divided. Chickweed flowers are delicate and starry. In fact, the genus name Stellaria means star-like. The leaves are oval-shaped and they grow opposite along the stem. 
One distinguishing feature of chickweed is a row of tiny hairs that grow along the stem. With each leaf node, the row of hairs shifts along the stem. And you might need a magnifier or just really good eyes to see those little hairs, but this is a great distinguishing feature. The roots are thin and shallow, making the plant easy to pull out from the earth, and it reseeds readily. There are anywhere from 90 to 120 different species within the Stellaria genus. Is it best to work with chickweed fresh or dried? In my opinion, fresh is best when it comes to our starry friend. Chickweed can be dried, but you'll notice its potency declines quickly over just a couple of weeks or maybe months. So if you want to dry it, use it up quickly and before its color turns from that vibrant green to a more yellowish hue. I like to use scissors to harvest the young plant and it can be harvested while it's flowering, but you're gonna wanna avoid harvesting it if it's gone to seed, just because it becomes more tough and fibrous. Regularly harvesting chickweed will inspire it to branch and produce more regrowth. Chickweed can be eaten as a raw salad, or it can be added to cooked foods. I especially love chickweed pesto. You wanna use chickweed fresh to extract it in alcohol or vinegar to make either a tincture or oxymel. But one of my favorite ways to work with chickweed is as a salve. There's so much to love about chickweed salve. It's safe, it's very effective for a wide range of topical problems, and chickweed grows ubiquitously all over the globe. Chickweed salve is easy to make, but it does require a couple of days to complete the process. This salve specifically brings soothing relief to hot and dry tissues, so you wanna rub it on things like bug bites, hot rashes, clean wounds, never infected wounds, diaper rashes, or pretty much any itchy skin condition. The optional lavender essential oil in this recipe is also wonderful for the same conditions and gives it a nice scent and mildly helps the salve to last longer. This recipe makes a pretty soft salve. If you anticipate storing it in more of a hot location, then you might wanna add a bit more beeswax to help it solidify a bit more. You can use up to two ounces or about 56 grams of beeswax uh, in this recipe. This particular recipe comes straight from my second book, Wild Remedies, How to Forage Healing Foods and Craft Your Own Herbal Medicine. This book is perfect for you if you want to learn more about the plants growing near you. Included with each herbal chapter is safety information, sustainable harvest instructions, and lots of fun and easy recipes like this one. Okay, to make chickweed salve, you'll need two large handfuls of fresh chickweed, one and a quarter cups of olive oil, one ounce or 28 grams of beeswax, 30 to 50 drops or a quarter to a half teaspoon of lavender essential oil, which is optional. Step one, the day before you plan to make the salve, you'll want to harvest the chickweed. As mentioned, I like to use scissors to cut the chickweed well above the soil line. And when I do this, I can avoid having to wash the chickweed before using it because there's no dirt on the chickweed. And that is important in this case because we don't wanna introduce more water into this recipe. Once you've harvested your chickweed, chop the chickweed finely and arrange it in a thin layer on a cutting board or a cookie sheet. You wanna allow this to wilt for about 12 to 24 hours to remove additional water content. Chickweed can be full of water and is pretty juicy. Step two, when you're ready to make your salve, add the olive oil and chickweed to a blender. And you're gonna get the best results if there's roughly an equal amount of olive oil to chickweed, meaning that there isn't a thick layer of oil or a thick layer of chickweed leaves at the top of the cup. 
Third step, blend for 15 to 20 seconds or until the chickweed and olive oil are really well blended together. This further breaks up the plant cell walls, helping the extraction process. Step four, place the chickweed and olive oil mixture in the top part of a double boiler or simply place a bowl on top of a pan that has two inches of water in it. Then bring the water to a boil and then reduce to a simmer and stir the mixture occasionally and continue to heat it until it's quite warm to the touch. So I just stick my finger in there and wait till it comes out pretty, or feels pretty warm. Once it's warm, you wanna turn off the heat and allow the mixture to sit for several hours. You'll want to repeat this process of reheating and cooling several times within about a 48 hour period as much as 72 hours to fully extract the plant material into the oil. Throughout this process, you don't wanna let the oil get so hot that it smokes or begins to fry the plant material. You only need to get the oil warm enough to extract the goodness in the plant material. Instead of using a double boiler for this step, you could use a slow cooker or a yogurt incubator or an other low temperature appliance that can maintain the oil temperature at 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 48 hours or so, when the chickweed has infused well with the oil, the oil will have taken on a really green color. At this point, you can strain it off and I would strain it through a double layer of cheesecloth. Okay, so now you have your infused oil. To make your salve, you wanna measure out one cup of the infused oil. If you have extra oil, you can use it as a moisturizer. If you don't have quite enough oil, then you can just add a little bit of plain olive oil, but basically you want one cup of oil. Next, you'll melt the beeswax in the top of the double boiler or a pan on really, really low heat. And here's a tip for you. The smaller your pieces of beeswax, the more easily they're gonna melt. All right, once the beeswax has melted, you wanna add the chickweed oil and then stir well to combine it, using as little as heat as possible to keep the mixture liquid. And I do wanna say that it's normal for the beeswax to harden slightly when you add the oil. You just wanna allow it to melt again. Then remove it from heat and add the lavender essential oil if you're using it. Give it a good stir and then immediately pour that into tins or glass jars and let the salve sit until it is set. Then label and store it in a cool place. The salve is gonna last you about a year, if not a bit longer. And that's it. Now you have a safe and natural remedy for all sorts of hot and irritated skin conditions. Chickweed is both medicine and food. As a result, the dosage can be quite high when eaten as a vegetable, like in a salad. Chickweed is a very safe herb, but because it's high in those saponins, extremely large amounts of it might cause nausea or diarrhea in some people who tend to be sensitive to saponins. So as with any herb, start slowly, just have a little bit until you can see how your body reacts. But I wanna assure you, I've often eaten large salads made with raw chickweed and have never had a problem. But we all have different levels of sensitivity, so go slow and be safe. If you'd like a free printable recipe card of this chickweed salve recipe, then visit the link in the video description or pick up a copy of my book, Wild Remedies, to get more insights and recipes for chickweed and many other plants. Also in the video description, I've included other helpful links like where you can buy chickweed seeds as well as both of my books. If you enjoyed this video on chickweed benefits and you value trusted herbal information, then I hope you stick around. The best way to get started is to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can be the first to get my best herbal insights and recipes. Chickweed fun fact. We aren't the only ones to love chickweed. Chickens love getting a handful of fresh chickweed. They can go crazy for it. Chickweed is also a host to moth and butterfly larva. The chickweed geometer moth is very cute. The tiny and starry flowers attract small bees, flies, butterflies, and wasps. Small birds and mammals like rabbits, groundhogs, and deer browse on the foliage and seeds.